I borrow boy, I borrow boshe she from Baba Ilegwa's channel. I'm gonna read to you today a scripture from um, Ofundi, and uh, before I re read Ofundi, I'm gonna say the prayer. Ofundi ko Baba she ata koro awo only o de igba de lio adofon only o de igba de ni ojo ti mu eni mu eni orunde. Ti emi no orun ha alapa ko woni ile ki os lo si o kolo opa o una jaba bala ni o de igba de oni ha oni ebo eli emu oru ni won iba ru ariko adie kan ati era oku ni won iba ru. Ofundi, this is for a man who left me a message who's an awo <coughs> saying that he's having very hard times and he doesn't know what to do. Ofundi is when Eshu saved the Babalao. I'm going to translate what I just read to you in Yerubian. It says, the people from the town of Igbade tied the Babalao up and left him to die in the underbrush because he told them something completely different from what another Awo had told him. Eshu intervened and saved the Awo. Okay, so there's more stories here and more stuff to do, um, more ebods and stuff. But right there in Ofundi talks about Eshu intervening for the Babalawo and how important it is for the Babalao to constantly be greeting is Eshu. Constantly. Mojuba Eshu. Eshu. Eshu Mopio. Eshu Mopio. Singing him songs. Elegba. Elegba. Aso kere kere mejeo. Eshu Shuayo. Mama Kenya. Eshu Dara. Seniawo. Singing him songs. Singing him songs. Feed Eshu first before anything because Eshu will prevail. Eshu will take care of the Awo because in Irosun Umbo, I think it was, or I'm, I'm not going to quote for sure, but Irosun Umbo, uh, uh, Eshu got received Ifa and um, Orumila gave it to him for free and for that, he got the crown of Ifa, and um, there's just so many patikis about Eshu, it's just ridiculous. Even when um, the thing, the Odun of Bailando la Cabeza, when an Awo gives a cuatro pata, he has to dance the head, Bailando la Cabeza, and that comes because in the Odun, when Orumila and Eshu were in the building, and all the town was trying to break into the house to kill Orumila. It, but it was too late because they were already dancing the head of the animal. And they were defeated. But Eshu is so important because he is such a loyal friend to Orumila. It is just ridiculous. So Eshu, being that he is a friend of Orumila, he is the friend of the Awo. Forget what people tell you that Eshu is the bad part of Elegua and uh, Elegua sneaks him food and Eshu lives in the dumpster and this, this, and this and, you know, whatever, you know, that's not the way it is. <clears throat> that's the way Lukumi have made it to be, but in traditional Ifa, it is not like that. Eshu is um, put first and that's the way that is. Uh, another thing somebody asked me was what was a Shigiri. A Shigiri is a, pretty much a cross between a pissed off Eshu and a pissed off, um, how could you say, maybe an Egun. And a Shigiri is made of clay with um, nails, different Ierosun, different Oduns that have to be chanted, different Omiero that has to be made the mud bricks. Uh, different nails that have to be washed in Oguno Miero, and it's posted up to protect the Awo's house. But I personally don't have a Shigiri because I don't need one. I have one, two, three, four, five 
one, uh, three, four, five, six, seven issues, and I love them all dearly with my heart. And issue will provide. I'm not the perfect, the best owl, but I try. So for those of you who are in a little bit of time of despair, don't forget that Odun that I just recited. When Eshu saves the Baba Lao, you cannot give up on Eshu. Every morning, I don't know how, you know, in Lukumi, they go and recite Ogbedi, Ogbedi Kaka, Ogbedi Lele, and they wake up Orumila. In traditional Ifa, we kneel down in front of our uh, Ifa, and in Nigeria, they rub your hands together. When somebody's wanting something from an elderly person, they rub their hands together in like begging them, kind of. So you kneel before your Orumila, you say your prayers, and you touch your head to the floor in saluting to Ifa, and then you salute your Eshus, you salute your o, your Ángel de la Guardias, all your Orishas, and you cast for yourself for that day. You throw your Ekule, see how today's going to bring you. The other day I had Iku, Osogbo Iku, and I had to do a bow. And um, that day I almost ended up getting in a car accident, but um, Orun intervened because Orun was watching me that day. I have Orun, I have Osain, and I have Abita. I'm done receiving that. My next step is to receive Olofi. But um, anyways, for those of you out there, don't give up. Eshu is the main one. For those of you who are getting scared, saying, oh, there's Eguns here that want to get you, this, this, and that. Say th three times. Owani chobe kechuba, owani chobe kechuba, owani chobe kechuba. And ask Eshu, Eshu, this is what's going on. Please don't leave me out to dry. Please help me, Eshu. Please help me. Mojuba, Modupoe, Alafia, and Buruboya, Buruboshe. Please, you guys, seek good knowledge. Don't be misled by cheap prices and people who say, they're part of this, and they've been doing this for 30 years, and this and that. No, if it's not done by the Oduns, it's not done right. I don't care what they say. A uh, Ifa ceremony should be seven days. A Santo ceremony should be seven days. There should be more than two people there. Lots of stuff. So if you're thinking about an initiation, contact me so we could talk. And I'll tell you whether or not they're right or wrong. Buruboya and Buruboshe.